Hi guys, here I am. My name is Vincent in, s in my studio in Sydney. I'm here for the second video for uh, about meditation. And this one is about energy in meditation. And uh, what I thought I'd talk about energy, not as some uh, crazy hippie concept, but it actually energy that you can actually feel and play with during meditation. So for every all the skeptics out there uh, that say, oh, you know, energy, all these hippies going around eating uh, vegan food and talking about energy. Um, this is something really tangible that you can do and start to understand the energy in your body and actually almost play with it, enjoy it, you know, un uh, feel it. If it sounds weird, I'm going to explain why, don't worry. So anyway, you've got into meditation. Uh, number one, the, the number of the video that I just did about meditation before was about breathing. So let's say you've, you've gone through that and you've got to a point where you're in deep meditation. Um, another way to get there is also to focus on the energy rather than breathing through your nose and concentrating on the nose is to actually b breathe through your whole body so what you can do rather than uh, having the breath be in your nose pretend that the breath is all around your body and that your body is breathing like a whole organism so you concentrate on that rather than your breath. You're still concentrating on one thing and you're doing everything to do to calm yourself down to meditate, but you're using your whole body as a big lung, I guess you wanna say. And you use this and what happens eventually is you start feeling that energy um, within you or outside of you, everywhere actually, because your energy extends, it's not just within you, it's out of you and extending to everyone else around you really when you interact. So you start to notice that energy. Something else you can do is actually notice different chakras. And if you don't know much about chakras, when you get to a certain point of meditation, you can actually start feeling the chakras, even if you don't really know where they are. They sort of, you start feeling where they are just by using your awareness and go around your body. You can, you can travel down and all of a sudden you feel where those chakras are and you can breathe through them so you may go to your heart chakra and rather th than breathing through your nose or breathing of your body as a lung, you can use the heart chakra to breathe. And the thing is when you put your awareness on these things, it's like they grow in intensity. So it's a good way to understand what's there. Now I have had some funny experiences with, with energy um, and as I sort of just happened because I was experimenting <laughs> in a way and it wasn't until after I had these experiences that I actually started reading um, Buddhist text and and different things to find out what it's about but originally they came just because I was ex experimenting with what was going on um, even they talk about kund kundalini energy where the energy runs um, off the back of your spine you can breathe through your spine as well although um, I'm not an expert in that but I do know that certain chakras have certain feelings um, and intensities so I I urge you to when you're meditating go through each chakra and breathe through it for a while some you may feel stronger than others um, but um, that's okay just keep trying to breathe and don't force it and and keep moving around and exploring your body uh, what I also find is naturally when I'm doing breathing meditation is that my third eye chakra gets really stimulated so um, that's just naturally happening all the time for me. Uh, and so it by focusing on that third eye chakra, it, it becomes like a, almost like a cinema screen in your mind in a way where, where you can really see into that chakra and enjoy what's there. Um, one other thing that I like to do, and I, I just like to do this because I like it, but when you're in a deep state of meditation and you're noticing your energy, Sometimes I like to imagine white light just falling all over me. And the beautiful thing about being in that state is that you actually feel it. It's like having a shower in love. It's weird to explain, but it feels really beautiful and amazing. And um, once you're playing with this energy and feeling the energy in your body, you can, um, you can start to notice these things a lot more easier, a, a lot easier. Um, one other thing for if you if there's any skeptics out there or 
or you're having trouble getting to this point in meditation, but you want to understand how, uh, what the energy around your body is about, there's a very quick and easy way to do that. Your hands are very powerful uh, energy forces or channels. And literally by just doing this and really focusing on the part in between your hands, and then you just start moving it like this, just keep focusing. Eventually you start feeling the energy in between your hands. Both your hands are emanating energy. You can actually feel that. But the funny thing is that we're more powerful than we know. You can start controlling that energy. You can start moving that energy so you can say, I'm gonna move it from this hand and I'm gonna channel it into the other. So you can move it in a anti-clockwise direction or you can do it the other way around and start moving it the other way. You start noticing that you can actually affect your own energy. So that gets us to deeper things. Then you can start reading about topics such as um, uh, interaction with people and you start to notice that that they're not only interactions that we have in our own minds or things that happen separately but energetically we also have interactions with different people that's why when you go into a room you can sense someone or you sense negativity in the air or positivity it's because energy is um, exchanging I also had these uh, before I started get before I started noticing energy in my body actually I would have these weird sensations sometimes when I met a girl if I was out and I met a girl who um, who was just not showing any any attention or anything like that but I'd know energetically that there was that she was interested because there was some there was movement energetic movement there and at first I thought I was just going crazy but Usually these things end up st starting working out. So I started trusting the fact that I could sense when someone was interested in me just from their energy, not from their actually body movements. I know this sounds very crazy, but I'm sure if you really notice, you can start noticing things like this every day. Like you know when someone likes you, even just by when they're next to you, you can tell that they feel comfortable next to you, their energy likes you. At the same time, you may also feel when someone doesn't like you and this isn't necessarily by physical things that they do because they may be fine on the inside but something's not right you sense something something's going there and then un something's happening underneath the surface anyway that's what I'm going to say because I could go forever the next video we're going to talk about walking meditation which is really important not just for when you're meditating but for everyday life because walking meditation is something you can do everywhere um, and it really is a good way to center yourself in everyday life Anyway, hope you enjoyed. It's been a pleasure. As I said, email me, give me a, uh, you know, give me a buzz, have a chat, conversation. I'm always up for it. Thank you.